get it together. I'm headed in. I am not taking class for once or teaching right now. I am going into the Laurel studio because I need to record for on demand today. That's kind of my main like priority for today. And then also I have a transitions mental health zoom call. Okay. Anyway, that's where I'm headed. And the rest of the day is just going to kind of unfold because I just figure I'm just going to open my laptop and figure out what exactly I need to hash out for today. So I'm obviously in the Cadillac today again. I'm super happy. Uh, and yeah, we'll see what this day brings. Seems like it might rain, but I don't think it's supposed to rain until Thursday, but it's pretty gloomy out. Good morning! It is 6.45 or 6.50. Woo! I just took a, um, a ride class. My vest that heats up, it's so awesome, is, um, I don't think this is the correct charger. No, it's definitely not me. My iPhone charger. No, stupid. Anyway, it's still warm. It's because I had it on for like four straight hours the other day. I should have known to charge it before I put it on again, but I just took a ride class and it was awesome. Thank you, Rachel. You're amazing. And I have a meeting at eight at my office. So I have not had coffee yet. So I'm gonna go grab some coffee and maybe a little treat skis. And then I have a meeting. After that, I go to the 9 a.m. flow class. I'm really just like praying that um, my meeting cuts off like in a half hour because I really want to go to this yoga class. But if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. And I don't want to rush this meeting. That's not fair to her. So we're just going to play it by ear. And if I don't make it, I don't make it. But yeah, great class. Glad I went. I never, ever get up at 6 a.m. to take class. It's only when I'm teaching. <laughs> and then after the 9 a.m., I have another meeting. Class meeting, class meeting. If all, oh, these sunrises have been so beautiful. I am just so grateful to be awake during sunrise the past like three days, honestly. They've just been so gorgeous. be these days. I'm leaving Laurel right now. I was doing some admin stuff and just getting some like, I don't know, some formulas and just some processes typed up and dialed in. So I feel very good about that. And now I am headed to Nautical Bean. 
I'm meeting one of my instructors for a little one-on-one -on -one chit chat um, there. So I feel like I'm gonna be right on time, which go me, and we gonna do this thing. Oh my God, tell me, <laughs> tell me why I do this all the time. I make these coffee dates with people and then I always, not always, no, I've, I've been pretty good recently, but I show up at the wrong freaking coffee shops. <laughs> like I need to just make sure I dedicate one single coffee shop. Like if I'm having more than one meeting a week, it either needs to be in the same, it needs to either be at my office or at the same coffee shop as all of the rest of them for the week or else I'm just totally sabotaging myself and screwing myself up. So embarrassing. Anyways, I'm really glad that I checked because I'm like, I know that she has to be on time. So like, why don't I see her here? And it's because it was the wrong one. I'm a mess. Of course, the one that we're supposed to meet at is the one that was way closer to my freaking uh, location, my original location. Whatever, it's fine. It's just like, seriously, <laughs> can I get it together? That's pretty good. Are these guys right here? Yeah. So we're at Costco. Yes. I have my new glasses on. And we're looking for things. Some things we list. don't really need. Oh, yep, we have a list. Hopefully nothing that is um, perishable. Lights. This spin studio. Picking up an envelope, checking out the sitch. Start with the dollars, because I get more out of it. Okay. I like that you actually have dollars. Well, remember I grabbed him and I was going to... Sugar daddy. I was going to tip these for tips, but now I'm gonna use it for this. We're here at the arcade, in case anyone was curious. Oh my god. This is awesome. This is kind of nostalgic. Mm -hmm. This is kind of newish looking. They say Goku on them. Oh my oh gosh. Oh my god, Nick, are you... Am I losing it? <laughs> Maybe. Let's do this. I was trying to figure out an appropriate thing to say. <laughs> Okay, Nick's about to get some more tokens, but we're about to play this. So he just won the second round of that. And now we're gonna play a little basketball. For context, make beat this game already.
stopped halfway down my driveway to take this off. Is anyone else like that? Like, I cannot drive with bulky shit on. It's just in my way. <laughs> I'm headed to the ride studio. I'm teaching the 9 a.m. It's gonna be a small little class today, but we're still gonna bring it. Still gonna have a good time. I packed a lunch this morning. I decided to, because I'm determined, to eat the rest of my spring mix. I refuse to have it go bad. So we're almost done with it too. And Nick said he'd use some for a sandwich. So I think we're gonna use up our whole entire Costco size, mind you, bucket of spring mix. And I'm so proud of us and mostly proud of me because it was mostly my effort, let's be honest. I'm in good spirits today, which is surprising because I'm on my period. I feel like I'm always on my period when I'm vlogging. It's just like what it is. Or just, I feel like I'm always on my period in general. <laughs> Am I right, woman? Am I right? <laughs> So obnoxious. Anyway, made a matcha. It's not as sweet as I would like it, but it's probably for the best. And after the ride class, actually, I am teaching uh, the 10.30 bar class. And I have to make sure I go to the right studio because <laughs> last week, even though I didn't teach it, like I originally scheduled this class to be at the Laurel location, but we had to do some switching around due to some parking issues to accommodate the landlord and all of that. So 10.30s swapped. So now the bar class, which I am teaching, is at Foothill and the sculpt class is at Laurel. So I have to keep reminding myself that because I don't want to arrive at the wrong freaking location. I have not done that yet and, um, and I don't want that to be today, especially when I'm supposed to be teaching. <laughs> I've had this song in my head for so long. Dude, I just taught two back-to-back -back classes. That's kind of like my new Friday thing, I guess, for now. But that was so fun. I love teaching bar. I was so bummed to have to miss last week, but a lot of my OG peeps came and I'm just so freaking happy right now. I am like buzzing. I'm buzzing. Just good energy today all around. I don't know where I'm going. I was gonna go to Laurel. <laughs> well, getting right into the next thing. I was gonna go to Laurel and shower because Nick and I were thinking about doing something together, but I don't know where he's at right now and he's not answering his phone. So I think what I'm gonna do is go home. So that's what we're gonna do now. I am basking in my own stank at the moment, which is super cute. I <laughs> want to get in the shower so badly. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna text Nick and tell him, I think this is working. We're gonna text Nick and let him know. Oh, I stink. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot recently about why like why i enjoy vlogging so much like what this platform is for me and i'm realizing more and more that i don't have or i guess what's becoming more and more apparent to me is that i enjoy talking and having conversations like i'm just talking to like my best friend on the phone playing catch up and talking about all the things and and all of it and i don't have a close friend like that where i can just like call on the phone and just talk to all the time and i mean i have my mom like love that like love that but you know it's different it's like your mom is your best your bestie and like i don't have a friend where it's like oh we don't see each other all the time or we don't you know maybe we haven't connected in months but let me pick up the phone and, and talk to you like it's just i don't know so this platform and just creating content is me just talking to a best friend that doesn't exist. Does that make sense? Like, I just feel like I'm able to just be who I am and talk about my life and what I'm going through and all of that just to myself <laughs> like, through a lens. It's just, it's weird to understand and also it's weird to conceptualize, but that's what this space is for me. It's just like, my bestie is my non-existent like friendships on here and I, I don't know how to say it but I really enjoy just talking stuff out and being able to just like have a conversation with my imaginary best friend I don't know it lightens my mood and it just cleanses my you know mental palate a little bit I just really appreciate it I like this I like this platform for that reason and um, I'm having fun with it too so yeah, I was just, I'm thinking about like why more and more, why do I like have these habits or why do I have these uh, desires to do these things? And um, yeah, so I, I just thought that I'd share that because it's just, it's important for me to really have intention behind what I'm doing. And if it doesn't have like positive, if it ever doesn't foster something that's positive or 
uh, productive, then it's like, why am I doing that? You know? And so I just had to like reevaluate for a second. Like, is this something that I want to put my energy toward all the time? Cause it does take up a lot of my time. Oh my gosh. I just remembered I have a meeting. Fuck. Oh my God. So embarrassing. I'm so glad that she texted me when she did. I mean, obviously she's like, hello, where are you? But I'm not that far away. So I am headed there now. Meg, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Saturday. <laughs> There's something to be said about going into town, like spending 30 minutes driving into town on your Saturday. It's raining and I'm on my period, but I'm still going to take a class at Spark. Like that to me, and I fucking own the place and I really need a day off, but I'm still going because the only place that I would ever want to be is spark it's just the coolest it's the coolest thing like should I be going into town and taking classes I mean if I want to yeah I'm just saying like I probably should take a day off of like working but I but I need enough to take class so like of course I'm gonna go <laughs> I love spark think about in these instances especially like I think about all the people who have like moved away and don't have spark anymore and how often I hear those people saying just like I can you please bring spark here like nothing here is as good as spark so like these exact instances remind me of that because it's like it's available to me and if I want to go I should go like I need to take advantage of the fact that like <laughs> I have access to all of these incredible instructors and really awesome classes at great times. And so like, just go. You have nothing else to do on Saturday. I mean, yeah, you can just cozy up and like chill out and watch movies, which also sounds great, which I will do when I get home, <laughs> but spend the morning there. And that's what I'm gonna do. So that was such a good class. I brought, we got like a huge Costco thing of cuties the other day and I'm so excited about it. But that was a great class and just really good Saturday energy. I'm gonna head home. That was a lot. So I think I'm done. On my way here, I had another one of these and I was trying to peel it and it was like, why am I trying to do this while I'm driving like on the back roads when it's like windy, like that's not safe. So here we are. I'm going to sit down and peel this and then we're gonna go. Wow. Cuties are so good. They're even better when they're like refrigerated. But I'll take what I can get. Yay, we're gonna go home and we're gonna do nothing at all. It's gonna be fucking great. So I <laughs> probably should end this vlog right here. I'm literally gonna do nothing for the rest of the weekend, I don't think. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs>